Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of In the Time with Zek, or Zek's Bell Time Adventures. Today we're taking a look at spawn and what changes are around spawn. As you can see, we are all set up for the uh, holiday season. One thing I don't particularly agree is the dragon is gone. They tore down the dragon to put up a Christmas tree. Now, as some of you may know, uh, my grandpa's actually about to pass away here in the next week or so, so Christmas is not really a, uh, a, a, joyous, a, a joyous occasion for me anymore, so. It looks nice, though. Who's that? Mr. Phillips. How do you get in there? Oh. Why is there like leaves and stuff underground? Doesn't make sense. Secret Santa Gift Center, organized by Dragon Breath. Tree built by Imarf Holiday, December by. Fail Mobs You. Okay. Helpers prompted Trent, Mr. Atari, Imarf, and Jason Stoker. This is where everybody's going to be putting all of their secret Santa presents under the tree. Let me up, please. Thank you. I'm going to turn that music down a little bit more for some reason. It's like super loud in my ear. There we go. Whose shop is this? All the old shops got replaced, too, as you can see. Mello. Mello has a shop. Mello, you can't even get into your shop. It's horrible. Owners don't touch. Price says marked. Marked where? I don't. Oh. Row one, two diamonds each slot. Ooh. Two diamonds for a stock. Ooh. Hello. I'm gonna go get me some diamonds from my shop and come back to this place, that's for sure. This is, uh, whose shop is this? Uh, not sure. Guys, if you see this video, put uh, signs in your shop saying whose shop it is. It helps out a ton. Especially when you're trying to contact the owner of the shop to see uh, about inquiries and stuff like that. You know. We got Marty over there in his pipe. Still got the odds, odds and ends. Looks like the castle got a little bit of a facelift. So, hmm. Let's see if I sold anything today. Ah, the wool does really well. I've been aching a lot at the spider farm. And actually, once we do upgrade update to the update that uh, I think it's 1.14 that has the water changes, my spider farm is going to be one of the best, if not the best, XP farm on the server because I don't have to do much to modify it with the new water mechanics, and it'll still work 100%. So, but pretty much every other farm though is going to be a little bit broken until they're fixed because water can't be held back by the current means like signs, uh, trap, basically anything you use that isn't a full block to hold back a fence doesn't work anymore. Oh, there we go, a couple diamonds, that's good. There we go. I come, I try and come out here every week or so to check the stuff. If I find that a couple of the chests aren't full anymore, like these are all still full pretty much. I'll bring more enchanted books out here. I don't think anybody is really buying potions yet. I was organizing them at first. I am actually looking for someone to organize this for me, so if you know, it wants to make a little bit of diamonds and organize this, so not a whole lot, but it's still six potions, doesn't matter what they are, for uh, one diamond? Yeah, one diamond. 
I just put a whole bunch of fire resistance and invisibility potions in here, actually. I still got some leaping potions left, too, if you guys are interested in those. But I got 14 diamonds, that's not bad. I don't think anything has changed over here so much. Let's just check out this shop real quick. He usually sells mending books really cheap. And he's completely sold out. He sells... I think this one is... Belly, I think. He sells, like, every single book he gets from fishing. Doesn't matter what it is, just sells it. I only sell the good ones, the ones that are actually a full enchant, so you don't have to waste your time combining books or anything. Oh, they finally grew. Holy shit. For some, re for some reason, these carrots were placed and they just never grew. Uh, as far as I can tell, it's just basically because it wasn't loaded enough for it to actually grow. Yoshi Shop. This one back here is still a pip lup pip lup love. Pip lup loves shop. She doesn't play a whole lot anymore, but she's still got some pretty neat items in here like uh one diamond per two stacks. Like actually. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's right. I'll take those. So this is snow, or carp, concrete powder. Ah, that's what it is. Free. Free. What's free? Nothing was wild in there. One diamond per stack. Hell yeah. I'll buy all those. Cobwebs. Oh, more stock. Ooh, what's up here? That's a lie. Only stock up there is storage. Why is there... Oh, is this the actual entrance to the... No, there's some pieces all around. Hey! That's a redstone at spawn. That's not supposed to be there. D tier. Hmm. Like, I know my last shop, or a couple shops ago now, it's, this is actually my third shop I did over there, had, it was just pressure plates that activated pistons to bring down to open up the chests. Like, that's very little and very, there is no leg like, involved in that. There's just, it's one piston going off at a time. And, yeah. Information places. This tree isn't too bad. Don't know what that topper's supposed to be though. I think it's supposed to be an angel, maybe. I can't get into this shop. Uh, missiles lane. Yeah, it's one row, row one, two diamonds for each lot. Oh, see, I went to Piplof shop and I saved a diamond per stack. Sucker. Ooh, is it not chapel? 120. Oh, wow. Potion of luck. 100 diamonds. A really good sword for 25 diamonds. Wow. Okay. If anybody doesn't know, this is our snow machine. Do not go in it unless you are authorized. Because it breaks very easily and getting the snowman back in is very, very uh, tedious. So, yeah, I don't want to go in there and have a mistake. Where's the music, actually? I haven't heard any music in a while. Ooh, I got mail. What I got mail? Cake. I got cake. I got cake. Ooh. Still no idea who's been leaving cake in my place. Like, the, no idea. No one's come forward yet, so. Let's take a look up here. If some, Most of you should know by now, this is actually our spawn right here. The world spawn. Uh, in case... Some, the reason there is no roof on that building is because we didn't actually change the world spawn, I don't believe. Uh, the way the world spawn works is it spawns you on the highest block available where the world spawn is. And because 
we didn't like lower the world spawn with the command or anything, there can't be a uh, roof on there because the player spawns right there. That is the highest block. So they are perfect. You can kind of spy on people in here. Ha <laughs> ha. What? Hey, 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 hey. Taunt them with the cake. What's in here? Hello? The castle has been pretty much done by I'm Marv now. That news puppy that is. I'm just gonna. Not supposed to be up here. <laughs> I believe that is Robele. Also built that. Along with that. Uh, let's see if I can find my way into the actual castle. Work in progress. It is still work in progress, the inside. The uh, outside is done, though. So we can actually start getting the inside done. Our builders in the server, like Prog Rocker, and I guess uh, Trenton have been working on that, but Trenton's been, I don't know what he's been doing lately. But that is our castle that is now pretty much complete on the outside. There's no more random pillars, like it's not just a shell in the front, it's actually done all the way around as you can see. <gasps> yeah. Alright guys, now that I've given you guys a little tour of spawn, there is a little bit of business to take care of. I'll be back and we will start on decorating the Guardian Farm storage room once I gather some blocks and stuff and get ready for that. Alright guys, we're here in the nether right now going towards... I think one of the times here we're going to go into a creative world one time and put together an actual proper tunnel and actually... Well, no. I'm sorry. Before I do that, I need to actually figure out where I'm putting this portal. Because... That is insanely loud. Why is that so loud? Holy shit. Like, everything is turned down except for master volume. Can I turn that down too? Uh, I don't know where I'm putting that portal just yet. My idea is to have it... Maybe underground? But I'm not exactly sure. Well, what's going to happen is... Oh, <laughs> I gotta go back to my base because I forgot. My plan is to have a storage system all around here. I'm thinking bulk storage in the back because it's smaller, and then actual storage systems, like one, at least two of them on each side. Like the one I have at the base at the very back. Yeah, that big thing. So I should be able to fit them in the sides, I hope. I'm gonna have to put them like right here, like starting here on both sides, which would be fine. I'd be completely fine with that. And then have other things around the sides and the back. All bulk storage, maybe? I don't know. But let's go down there and do that for now. The bulk storage I have to go actually get from Fem's place, because that's where it actually is. So let's start off here. Got some item frames. We're gonna pop in some item frames here. I did not bring enough. Joy. Actually, not. we only need one on each side, really. Yeah. So we'll just pop a shard in there. Give me some of those. Perfect. And this one should be the other thingamajigs. Uh, I should put this one first, right? Shards. And then everything else gets destroyed. Alright. I had some extra anvils here. I don't want these lights here. Um, that's what I was thinking. We could put some trap doors on top of the other things. Uh, let's see. This is my... It's not really an incinerator or anything. 
I only use uh these blocks guys for redstone. I don't use them for anything else. So if you're thinking that I use them for like building, I, I generally don't. How do I make this work? How, 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 how? Because it has to be completely encased. It has to be. There's no question about that. Let's take one of these. Yeah, that works. Oh, I know. I can go like this. That's not what I wanted. Cooperate, please. Do I have to go in here? Okay. And you're going to do the same thing to me, so I'm just going to go over here. Alright. See, yeah, that just looks dumb. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here. And do it zigzag like this. And then make it all line up. Oh, I didn't bring any lights with you know what? It's okay, because we're at the garden farm. We get to make some. 64. Oh. Put them back in the wrong chest apparently. Ooh, turned around there. I don't think I need that many, but hmm. let's see what happens here. Eh, I want those. Let me explode those. Okay. Let's see. Ah ha ha! That is wrong. No fear, guys, this is not the final design. This is literally just the the destroying chamber. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to go with glass panes instead. It looks a bit better. And it actually lines up with the stone brick up top, so that, that works perfectly. Back here, actually, though, I'll take this out and put in a actual back wall of press brain. Right. And that's just a comparator of the right to replace that right now. There's actually a lot of people online right now, so I'm not expecting to see much of, if not any, spawns in the farm, so. Alright. Eat some food. So that's in place now. I think I'm going to do is kind of break it up a bit with some of this. It doesn't matter if I leave that there. I forget this whole area back here is going to be, well, actually from here over there, it's going to be completely hidden. So you'll be able to see it at all. That's really hard in the eyes. Hmm. Alright. Still... Not exactly sure how we're going to get down here because this is actually not right. If I take this all out. Hmm. 
It's been bugging me it's like this. Aha! Beep you. Shoot an arrow through the air. Yeah, you can that too. And then if you take these, I don't know what I'm doing here. This is just completely me being random. Aha! Me being completely random. That's gonna bug somebody. Doll oh, heck, man. Got some kills. Cool. Alright. Uh, I got some ender pearls here actually, so I can teleport up there. Boink. Let's knock this out. Just to be there. Wow, I came all the way down here. I didn't pick up the items I wanted. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna do one side and then I'll do the right side off camera. Save time. So, put those in. What I think what I'll do is have. Yeah, they will have stairs going down and around from here and here. Yeah, that's all. There is no rhyme or reason to what I am doing. It is just what I feel like doing. Uh, do I have any garbage blocks I can use? Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. Just remember, we got it. We have to actually make this look good from the top also. Because we'll be able to see this whole thing from the bottom. Oops. And I don't think I can. Oh, I can. I opened it. Well, you can see the guardian spawning too. Dang it. That'll work. And then we'll have the quartz slabs up top again. Right there. Just like that. And this will be the entrance to our guardian farm. This is the actual kill room, and this is just a walkway kind of thing. Let's put some lights in here. Put one there. One there. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Don't want those trap doors up there, though. Throw my axe on me. And I just thought of a much better idea. I'm gonna line this with glowstone. Alright, it's not glowstone, sorry. Sea lanterns. And I could have sworn I just collected my stupid shovel, and I guess I didn't. Oops, fail. You guys are wondering how I am picking blocks so fast in, into my inventory when they're not in my inventory, like on, like on my inventory screen right now. It's simply from the pick block method. If you don't know what that is, it's simply point at a block. If it's in your inventory, you press middle boss button. If it's in there, you get it. So yeah, 
those. I don't have those, I can make that. I have those. I don't have those, I have those. And that's all it is. I was going to do this one off camera, but whatever. It only took a couple seconds. There we go. So you can't actually see anything anywhere else besides the actual kill room. And the only reason that this drops down so much is because you have to be at a certain height in order to be able to actually attack them properly. So. Let's see here. Let me see this. Yeah, I don't need that. that. This is also a garbage, by the way, if you guys didn't know. I think I put into it, we'll end up in this. Well. Ah! I hurt my mama. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stop spinning at me. I'm sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, it, it is not an actual incinerator. It's just... I just fall down and they get... They despawn. That's all it is. Is that gunpowder? What do I have gunpowder? the hell? Give me these, thank you. And give me these. Alright, I'm thinking we go to like this, take all these out. We put sandstone stairs in like this. And we want to indent it a little bit. So, we'll go up on sandstone block, right, and then we'll have a light source, because you want it to be nice and bright, another block like that, or do I want them indented, is the question. What I'm going to do is something like this instead. Uh, I just broke something I wasn't supposed to, I think. Yes, I did. I think I'll have the light down there. Stair like that. And lower the floor altogether. Alright, so, take that part out. Now we can go to, like, this, maybe. No, I think I'll use these for the floors. I want stuff in my way. Things. And then another block like that. Then the roof would come up after that. And we'd also put I want to hmm. Okay. So we'll also put these along here, maybe? No, 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 no. There, that'll allow us to open up the uh, things still. The chests. Allah. This one is supposed to be a inverted like that. So you can see, I can't put a light here. Which does actually kind of suck. Not gonna lie. But that's just how the cookie crumbles. Can't break that one. What I can do is put oops lights underneath all the chests. I 
and that'll keep it sufficiently lit up along with those ones right there. Oh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I much care for that actually. Hmm. Already, let's drop off some light this here. We don't need any light over the glass. And don't need those. Pick up this stuff. Now for the floor. Obviously, I'm probably going to keep it as slabs for the most part. Because uh, I don't have a whole lot of things I can use. I think in the middle. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that right there would be the middle. All I think I'll do is I'll put a second crafting bench in, and then we're surrounded like this. And I just said let's put a second crafting bench in, so I'll take that back out. So that's where our crafting benches will go. But I was also thinking instead of crafting benches, we can put anvils here. And the crafting benches can go elsewhere. Like. I don't know. <laughs> Why is there a ladder here? What's in here? Hello? Weird. So the crafting bench is there, I guess. Yes. Hmm. I really need my axe. Maybe it's best if crafting benches to go in the middle. Along with anvils. Yeah, let's just do that. There we go. Then we'll put a couple trapdoors on top so that mobs can't spawn. There we go. Gotta keep this whole area spawn proof because this is the lowest chunk now besides the guardian farm. So, do not want mobs spawning. And yes, I. <laughs> Let's take care of that right now before I forget again. Actually, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Because from the top, you can't see this part right here anyway. And once we put the roof in here, you won't be able to see it anyway. So. I was thinking we have uh, the stairs coming down from here, kind of like in a spiral, right? And then there will be a opening, like a door right here, to a door. That's how we'll get in here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Let's see if I can make some kind of design. Design. Okay. 
have no idea I'm doing this. I am not very creative, guys. I'm trying to be. This, maybe. I'm not trying to design anything right now. I'm just literally just placing blocks I have. Board pattern? No, I don't want that. And you know what? This I can all dig out because there is a pattern I want to put in this area here that I don't think I can put anywhere else because there's bedrock everywhere else. So, ha! Zach's gonna get his way for once. Oh. Oh wait, no, that's right. I don't want us to drop down super far. <laughs> there we go. That doesn't look too half bad. But I think what I'll do is I'll take these up. The reason why I put in a whole bunch of them at once right now is so I can get an idea. Yeah, I like that much better. Hi. Stupid camera. So we're going to take these out. I'm going to replace where I can. No. I want these handbills in here. There we go. Now, hopefully, this is all at level seven. Seven, seriously. Eight and above. Damn it. So this is all sufficient and lit up, so I don't have to worry about spawns. Except for this little area right here. I think it's nine, eight, seven, eight, eight. This one right here. So where can I put a light source that'll reach this block right here. That block. Hmm. Oh. Hold up. Hello. Got a better idea. And then you walk in the door and it's like, ooh, what's this? And it's just a big pool for no reason. Hmm. I went to get some water buckets. Place one there and one there. So you can make kind of a pool. A little bit of cozy. I'm not supposed to actually be walking in there at all, so that works quite well. Do I have iron bars? I didn't bring iron bars with me. Last pains though. Does this work? Hmm. Back 
could work if I bring I think what I might do actually guys is I'm gonna put a guardian in here with the water flowing down onto it that'll be my pet so what I want you guys to do is in the comments is suggest names for the guardian All right. Come on. Thank you. Well, I wasn't planning on having a guardian tank, but May as well. It's a guardian farm. Why not? Right? So we turn off night vision. It doesn't look too bad here. Alright, let's put the rest of this floor in now. Let's get this done today. In the next episode, we'll put in the Guardian. A dilemma. How do I go about fixing that? Like, do I just ooh, ooh. all right? So I moved all the lights. So I can put these in instead. So you don't want to have plain blocks everywhere. You want to change it up every once in a while. I wonder... Hmm. Nope. Nope, that's fine. Because this level here is the roof. Like that, except I don't want slabs. Because the slabs under, under time, underneath of sandstone looks really bad. Uh, we'll use these blocks, I think. Yeah. Bring that. Save it there. Dang it. Forget guys, anything can change at any time. So this is not permanent. Close. Close. Thank you.
There we go. This thing now, I think it'll do is I'll this side has a middle. No middle on this side, so we're not going to do anything for this. Put all those in. Knock that one out. Put that back in. And that should line up with their roof quite nicely, actually. Corners, I'm thinking we'll do something like Oops. Something like that. Take a quick look. Yeah, there we go. Remember, these are just here because I needed to provide light to this area, so they can be removed at any time. The sides, however, are a little trickier. this place to be very well lit so nothing can ever spawn See, that's just a little too that's just too many lamps but, yeah. so let's take those out and we'll put in a little trick on that. With a topper. Right there. No, 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 no. There we go. Something like that, maybe? I'll bring this over here. We can put a topper in there like that. There we go. That's much better. Behind it now, I want... I go there. Eat, 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 eat. Food, 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 food. All right, guys. I did a little work off camera here. As you can see, I put in the roof. I did actually end up using the bottom of the half slabs because I found I want these kind of shown be the kind of borders right around the room. 
and then it does give it the room a little bit more contrast to it, so. Uh, this thing, I think I'm going to try and move over so it's more centered. Yeah, I'm going to try and move that over to center more. But I want to, I'll do that off camera because we're running out of time here. I'm just going to put these in. Give me that, thank you. So yeah, if you have name suggestions for the Guardian that I'll be putting in this tank, let me know in the comments below. And hopefully we'll be putting him in next episode. So if no names are given, I'll just come up with some random ass name, I guess. If you like the video so far, give it a like. If you don't like it, give it a dislike. It still helps the video out a lot. And see how we're getting tons of mobs right there? Don't want that. Where the hell are you guys spawning? Ooh, creeper. Anyways, I've been slowly going around. That's what all these uh, cave icons are for here, is caves to be lit up. Anyways, I'm out of time, so see you guys next time. Peace.